so hello everyone in this video we are going to talk about mesh generation a uh, meshing is a important step in in simulation process so for for demonstrating the meshing i have taken one example let me explain you what it is so this is one box where we have two electrode on left and right side let me make it transparent for more for easy understanding so here we can see here one box i have so we have two electrode on our left side and another one on right side and we have some sample inside it so with the use of this electrical we heat this material so this uh, this was all physics involved in this so here we are going to talk about the meshing Okay, to generate mesh for this study, we will go to the mesh and here we can add the mesh for this. In mesh sequence type, usually we have two options, physics control and user mesh. So when we click on the physics, based on the, based on the physics involved for this study, it automatically generate mesh for us. So here we can see that uh, uh, so physics control mesh has been generated for this domain but one thing we can change here is that the size of mesh which is right now selected as a normal we can select finer extra fine and we can increase the size by chorus so if we go if we select the fine in extra fine it will take more time to compute this uh, simulation process and also it will uh, require a lot of memory to solve the this process so we also want if we go for the chorus or extra chorus it 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 will take less time but at the same time the quality of our output will not be that good when we go for the finer or extra finer so so we want more control over the mesh generation so it is very important to adjust the mesh size and distribute in such, such a that we will not uh, require much memory and longer time without compromising the quality of our output data so for like for physics control we can see that what are the steps involved to, to define this by clicking on the right click on mess one and then edit physics induced sequence so it will so this will show the all the sequence which are involved for generating in this mess attributes so here we have one is size and another one is the shape of the mess so to measure our focus is the heating zone which is involved the electrode and this sample and another electrode this chamber which is not important for me so i want it to be more chorus and the, these parts should be the finer that so that i will get good result without compromising my so for doing that first of all at the global stage i will define a chorus mesh for entire domain and we will build all so we can see here so the chorus miss has been generated for entire domain now what we want here is uh, a finer miss inside this sample as well as electrode so for doing that just go to the free tetrahedral right click on it and define a size so this size we can select the domain from this so we want this domain this domain as well as this domain i want it to be 
extra fine so build all so it has been generated a extra fine mess for us we can see here and uh, remaining domain remain the chorus so here we can see one thing in this uh, when we generate the mess so here node of node of one domain and node of another domain which is chorus domain and it is a extra fine domain the both are synchronized with each other why because because this geometry are built by union operation so that's why they are synchronized with each other what will happen if the geometry is based on assembly we will see that one also let's do this uh, i will change union to the assembly and now go to the mess and uh, <clears throat> build all now here we can simply see there is no synchronization between node of chorus domain and node of extra fine domain that's a difference between a, when we create a geometry with the assembly when we create geometry with the union let's talk about the element discretization uh, while console solve the uh, each node individually and interpolate between each node so it is a very important to selection of order of discretization so under physics uh, we select what order of discretization that affect the interpolation between nodes so in this case if we go to the under the physics if we go to the heat transfer in solid and at the bottom we can see the discretization if here the order of discretization is quadratic so there are various options where we have so we can select what order of uh, discretization which we want so that will affect the interpolation between nodes this is very important while solving the multi physics problem so if we if we want to check the quality of our mess so it is very important so based on the physics control we have modified the size and uh, and uh, distribution of the element but it doesn't mean that uh, it the result out of this define physics define mess will keep the best result for us although it will or based on the existing mess it will give the optimum result but whether it is close to the what physics involved in this simulation it is very important to validate and verify the mess element quality for doing that what we can do is we will go to the study here in the time dependent and under the time dependent we see the adaption under adaption we will click the adaptive mess refinement and so geometry will be the geometry one so validate the how much our whatever the existing mess we have built for this geometry it will validate using this adaptive mesh refinement this was all about the meshing thank you so much